Welcome to the 2017 NYC Our Bound Schools Gala. My name is Giovanni Hernandez, and I'm a senior at Brooklyn Collaborative. Which I am proud to say is a part of the NYC Outward Bound Schools Network. I'd like to thank you all for coming and take a second to acknowledge our dinner chairs, vice chairs, and our board of directors, led by board chair Gifford Miller for making tonight possible. Tonight will be led by me and some of my fellow NYC Outward Bound School student leaders who, with the help of our schools, have made positive impact on our own communities. I will be your master of ceremonies and you will be hearing from me throughout the evening. <laughs> now, if you'll turn your attention to the screen, I'd love to share a short video featuring some of our other young leaders. Oh, and keep an eye out for that kid with the ponytail. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> and now have a better understanding of what NYC Our Bound Schools is and why it is so important to everyone who spoke in that video. I'm honored to be standing here in front of you all. In my freshman year, I came to Brooklyn Collaborative extremely introverted. I combed my hair over my entire face and gave short answers to everyone who tried to talk to me. See, my plan was simple, get in the classroom, get decent grades, and get out. You see, I grew up in a single parent household in Red Hook Projects in Brooklyn, and my mother was very cautious about letting me go outside to play with other kids because she was aware of the gang violence, drug dealing, and a lot of other bad things happening inside my neighborhood. My older brother, Louis, and my mother were the only people I felt I could ever open up to. I did well in school for them, they were my motivation to do so, and they were also my biggest supporters. In my mind, as long as I had them, I could succeed in anything I wanted to do, and I didn't need anyone else. Which is why when I came to Brooklyn Collaborative at 14 years old and first heard the phrase, crew, not passengers, I didn't think much of it. I'd, really, I'd sit in crew thinking to myself, am I really going to spend the next four years of my life in fifth period with these people? That first year of crew, that first year of crew I didn't speak much. And every time I did open my mouth to speak, it felt forced. See, this feeling was common for me. I was always a kid who didn't want to be close to people outside of my family. The one who was unenthusiastic about participating in activities I felt were boring, and the commonly known party pooper. The only time I wasn't that person was when I was with mom and Louis. So when my, gra my, when my brother graduated, and went to attend college all the way in California before I started high school, I became even more withdrawn. Lewis made up 50% of the people I felt being comfortable with. And for the first time in my life, I felt a little alone. I felt like having people get close to me only created more chances for me to get hurt if they ever had to leave. This all changed quickly my sophomore year. On February 16th of 2015, my mother passed unexpectedly of liver cancer. With her, I lost the only sense of stability I had left in Brooklyn. I lost my provider, my confidant, and my best friend. After her passing, I remember feeling over, even more alone. I no longer had my family. When I got to crew the next day, I was expecting the typical anonymous pity that you'd expect from somebody who doesn't really know you, the type of pity that I had received that entire school day. But when I walked into crew for our weekly circle, all eyes and ears were on me. And my crewmates genuinely listened to my thoughts and feelings without telling me how bad they felt for me. Their questions were, how can we support you in getting through this, rather than, how are you getting through this? And suddenly, in such a dark period of my life, a ray of light shined down on me. For the first time ever, I was able to open up to somebody besides Lewis or Mom. My crew became my new support system, taking care of me when my family couldn't be there. Even though I no longer have parents in my life, the question of who I'm going to be spending holidays is no cause of concern. Because on Thanksgiving, we eat as a crew. On Christmas, we celebrate in fifth period together. 
Four years away from that kid who was so isolated, I feel proud to say that fifth period has taught me the true meaning of crew, not passengers. While I was unwilling to see it before, my crew members were there at the right time to come brush my bushy curls right out of my face <laughs> and open my eyes to the truth. We are family. And every student deserves the opportunity to form the second family. I'm proud to say that this August, I'll be moving from Red Hook to Franklin and Marshall College in Lancaster, Pennsylvania on a full tuition posse scholarship. And I won't be afraid to let people in because my crew has taught me that there are more benefits than risks when forming bonds with people. And I'll carry with me the individual initiative, leadership, teamwork abilities, and character that made me both a good crewmate and a posse scholar. <laughs> Without a support system, it's hard to succeed in anything. However, to obtain those support systems, one must allow themselves to be helped and recognize both their strengths and their weaknesses. NYC Outward Bounds crew has taught me this lesson. And because I know this, I feel prepared to, to succeed anywhere, aware that I have the ability to form support systems and will always have my crew when I need them. While many kids never get this opportunity to break out of their shell and develop this dexterity, NYC Outward Bounds schools push beyond just academic excellence and teach us people skills and leadership qualities applicable to any stage of life. I am just one of 10,000 kids who benefit from NYC Outward Bound Schools every single year. Here's another one. Our honoree presenter, Shazarda Davis from Leaders High School.